away, oh human child, to the waters and the wild. Stella is an amazingly special school. Where the wave of moonlight glosses the dim gray sands with light. With Stella, I love that the relationships are at the core. That's not just teacher to student or staff to student, but student to student as well. I love the environment. Everybody is super friendly. The teachers are super nice. The curriculum is a lot of fun. Uh, I think I love so much about Stella that it brought so much out of our kids um, that we didn't know that they had. Flower has the female reproductive. Because students have five of their six periods with one teacher, they build such strong relationships with that teacher and that teacher knows them really well, knows them as people, as individuals, but also knows them as learners. And as a result of that connection, the teacher is able to really help students build on their strengths, but also to be able to grow in the areas that they need to be able to grow. I want you to make an observation of the flower. I like the fact that it was 30 kids uh, for most of the day, so you could really bond with the students. Stella Scola provides a unique cohort environment where the students are together for almost their entire day um, as a cohort through sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And as a result, they're able to build really, really strong connections with each other. And they're able to actually learn so much about working together as a team as they engage in fun, project-based and experiential learning. I think some of the pillars of Stella that make us stand apart is that focus on relationships, the focus on helping students understand what it means to be a mentor. Our eighth graders start you know, as mentees, as, as sixth graders, and then they move through. They have a little bit of knowledge about what it means to help another person succeed. And by the time they get to eighth grade, they're ready to really lead. Being a leader doesn't mean you boss everyone around. Being a leader means you listen to others, you give your own opinions, and you all work and collaborate together. Our mentoring program is super exciting in the way that like I said, students learn what it means to have two older kids standing by their side when they're sixth graders. Then that middle student as a seventh grader understands what their role is. And then the eighth grader understands, I know what leadership is and I know what it means to be a servant leader. And that mentoring relationship that we have here really supports that concept of servant leadership. From my mentor mentee triads in the past, I learned a lot about listening to others finding what they do best, not just assigning everything. There is some concrete and some steel involved. Everything we do here is teaching students how to be valuable team members. That will generate electricity that would just run through wires. What it means to work in a team, what it means to lead a team, and in that, they're learning that being a team leader or a project manager doesn't mean you're bossing everyone around. Uh, there was research that has found that you can grow like boom. Their job is actually not to force everyone into doing things, it's to help everyone, to get everybody to be the best of themselves. I think it's honestly a lot of fun to collaborate and talk with each other, get different views on everything, and it helps you have a broader vision. There's some tax in it and splinters and boards torn up. It's my goal that our Stella students understand that they're empowered in the classroom, that they're partners in their learning, and that's a process. We operate as a family and a community here. That's super, super strong. So the relationship piece, really high standards, and we lift and support every student up to those high standards, no exceptions. Because they, they have this environment, it fosters the ability for them to be able to take risks, for them to be able to try new things, and for them to be able to really put themselves out there and to be able to stretch themselves and grow. History is the through line for Stella. That's part of why we are the school that we are. Um, history is everywhere infusing everything um, from sixth grade, which studies the ancient civilizations, on up to eighth grade, where all of my students compete in National History Day. How the heat is moving. Is heat moving out? Students undergo a tremendous metamorphosis from when they enter in sixth grade to when they leave in eighth grade that it really just blows me away and I know it blows their parents away when they when they see how much they've grown in those three years at Stella Scola. Stella gave him that confidence I mean going through Stella's uh, you know uh, program especially uh, when he came out of it he was as I said was a different person because he uh, he was very confident about himself he could express himself uh, much better. I'm happy at 110% because um, my kid has been uh, 
has grown so much and she has been really happy here and um, I think this is a wonderful community. Look at the statement. There's like a bunch of small. They need to feel safe to take the academic risks that we want them to take. We're not about here, here's this content, learn it. What is on the inside? Ooh, there we go. Take a test on it, move on. We are all about like, here, let's investigate this and let's see what your thinking is and what we've learned about this and then what do you think? Since you're with them for three years, you can, you have friends in the class and you can ask them for help if you need help or if you're presenting in the class, you can ask them to support you and practice with you. And then what values am I going to calculate? with? We are all mutually investing in each other's success, our happiness. The joy of coming to Stella is remarkable from the minute the kids are greeted at the door. It is my belief that every student should come to school every single day and hear their name said with love every single day. And if they're not, then there's something wrong. And so we greet them, we greet them again here, we greet them and talk to them every single day so they know, you know, how was your soccer game this weekend? What are you guys doing this weekend? Uh, your mom said you're going here. What are you most looking forward to about that? All these different things so that they know they're heard and seen and valued.